Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is another pregnancy update and one that I am going to try my best not to cry through. Try my best. It is the last pregnancy update because I deliver in three days. For those of you that don't know, I am having a scheduled C-section. And wow, this is my last pregnancy update until then. And that's just so insane. I'm so excited. And first and foremost, I just wanted to thank every single one of you that have been following along my journey or even the new subscribers that have joined the family. I just wanna thank you so much for being here, being a part of our family and just following along our journey for all of your love and support. Garrick and I read your comments and I swear it's the highlight of our day. It's just so amazing to have this community and just to be able to share videos like this not only for me but for you guys as well just to be able to relate to each other and so on and so forth i need to shut up and get into this video before i start crying today i am 39 weeks pregnant and i am delivering in three freaking days i'm so nervous i'm so excited i'm so overwhelmed i just there's so many emotions going through my head and yeah let's go ahead and get into this video Starting off with my weight, like always, I'm 146 pounds, and I think I said this in my last pregnancy update, because that number sounds familiar, but yeah, I'm 146 pounds, and I don't weigh myself at like a specific time, so I guess that could make it fluctuate. Pre-pregnancy, it was like 117, so altogether, I have gained... How, how many pounds is that? Okay, 29 pounds. I suck at math. I've gained a lot of stretch marks this pregnancy. I've gained a lot of hormones during this pregnancy that I have definitely shared with you guys on my bad days and I'm glad that I did you know there's a lot of people that glorify pregnancy so much and don't get me wrong pregnancy is so beautiful it's incredible it's glorious in all of its ways it's, it's perfect in all of its ways but there are days when it is hard and that's what I wanted to really share with you guys was not only the good times but the bad times, not just pregnancy, but in life, life in general. But regarding pregnancy, like it's not always butterflies and cupcakes, you know. There are the juicy parts of pregnancy. And I just hope that I've come across as authentic as possible. So you guys can relate when stuff like weird, gross, you know, pregnancy-wise happens to you. I just hope that I have reflected what i want to promote as much as possible if that makes sense but yeah there's been some things that have happened within this past week and one of those is i am so freaking constipated or i was constipated but now it's like all coming out like i've taken 50 freaking stool softeners i guess that's my body preparing for labor and everything which i'm glad like i'm not constipated because you know if you've had a c-section actually no i think i've talked to a lot of my friends even after you give birth whether or not that's cesarean or vaginal delivery um it's kind of hard to go number two afterwards so and i remember it was like the scariest part for me the scariest moment was after my c-section like a few days later you know having having that feeling of having to go and like having to use my abdomen muscles when you know you just had an incision there it's a scary thing like it's it's not something to joke about but yeah i'm just glad that i'm not constipated before i go into labor but yeah this past week i was constipated for like the first part of the week and then towards the end it's just coming through you know as far as cravings i've been craving vanilla coke like crazy and i think like i said before it's just the caffeine that i really really crave i don't i don't know what it is about the vanilla coke it has to be vanilla i just love it i love it so much like i want on right now my mouth is watering for a vanilla coke and according to the baby bump app which is one of the apps that i use along with like what to expect and i'm just gonna give you actually a list of all the pregnancy apps I use because I've gotten questions. I use Ovia Pregnancy, What to Expect, Baby Center, and the Bump app. So I use quite a few and there's also some like random ones in there. 
but yeah i like to just see what the different app says but the bump app which i use frequently more frequent than the others is saying that baby is the size of a pumpkin and i freaking believe it y'all look how big i am i'm definitely bigger i think than i was with wilder and i'm definitely very very uncomfortable when it comes to sleeping because of like how big i am and how much pressure i have i have no more room my ribs are hurting like crazy this baby is kicking my ribs like crazy yeah i could definitely see this baby being as big as a freaking pumpkin and i think this baby is gonna be close to 10 pounds and i'm not even kidding you my mom told me that i was 10 pounds i don't think i was like 10 pounds exactly i think i was really close to it but yeah i was a really big baby garrick was a fairly um normal baby wilder was seven pounds nine ounces i just i have this feeling y'all that this baby is going to be huge and i'm not mad at it i love me a chunky baby but carry you little monster is difficult especially nearing the end all pregnancy is difficult nearing the end but i'm so uncomfortable you guys i'm so excited to meet this baby i'm so excited to not be pregnant anymore i know i say this now but looking back on this video i'm gonna be like oh my god i miss it so much because i'm going to miss it i'm gonna miss the kicks a lot but in this moment right now and especially when i can't sleep at night whenever i'm cramping and i'm tight and i'm sore i do not want to be pregnant anymore but i know i'm gonna miss it and i need to shut up and just enjoy it three more days tomorrow we are doing something really special with wilder I don't know what we're gonna do exactly yet comment below if you have any suggestions but i just want to make him feel special because we know his little world is about to change so much for the better but it's definitely going to be a big change and i just i i want to do something with him very special so we are going to vlog it as well of course so yeah be on the lookout for tomorrow's video as well wilder is actually teething really bad right now and i'm hoping that it kind of you know lets up by the time i deliver garrick and i are having a really difficult time wrapping our minds around leaving him we are just like so attached to him as much as he is to us and people may see that as a bad thing or like we're too controlling or we're attachment parenting whatever you want to call it i really don't care because we haven't wanted to spend time away from him you know we haven't wanted to spend the night away from him and i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing but yeah going off of that we just were really nervous to leave him and garrick's told me several times like i just want to have him in the hospital with us i don't i don't know we'll just have to see of course you guys be looking out for a vlog on wednesday um we're gonna be vlogging like the whole hospital stay for those of you that have been asking yes we're vlogging everything we're not missing a beat i cannot wait to get all of this on film but yeah um we are definitely really nervous to have to be away from wilder i feel like i'm more anxious to leave him not that he won't be in good hands but i feel like i'm more anxious to leave him than to even have my c-section which says a lot for me because i am such a baby and i am really really nervous for the c-section just because my labor and delivery with wilder when i had a c-section was a freaking nightmare and i still have nightmares about it so yeah it's just there's a lot of things going on in my head right now and there's a lot of different emotions not only for me but garrick too i can definitely tell he's getting nervous as you know the days go on and we're almost there and we have three more freaking days until we have a newborn and we get to find out the gender of this baby i wanted this video to kind of be like a recap of my pregnancy so this video is going to be a little chatty and i'm so sorry for that but i love whenever i do these pregnancy updates to be able to kind of chat with you guys for a minute as well as tell you everything that has been going on so yeah, I'm sorry if I talk too much. I talk too much in all my videos. Like it or love it, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, back to the pregnancy update. I know I have told you guys in all of my pregnancy updates that it's so hard to sleep. But let me tell you guys, this week has been the hardest week to sleep of my entire life. Garrick even we were talking last night and I'm like, have you gotten any sleep recently, like the past week or so? And he's like, you know what? I have been so tired and I you know how he is if you guys have watched my prank that i did to him on like the water breaking prank and he woke up so like delusional and out of his mind and he like did not remember anything 
and was just pacing back and forth like he is a totally different person if you wake him up out of the night and like he just doesn't remember it like i will ask him hey do you remember helping me do this with wilder or blah 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 and he'll be like what are you talking I'm like how do you not remember waking up and helping me and getting up and getting out of bed and helping me yeah he's like you know what i have been so restless at work and i'm like yeah it's because i toss and turn all night he's like oh yeah i remember you literally wake me up every five minutes at night and i'm like i'm so sorry but yeah i can't sleep i'm not even kidding you guys i have 50 freaking different pillows on either side of me like trying to get as comfortable as possible i have the pregnancy pillow i have a regular body pillow which helps me you guys have probably seen it in my vlogs it's like the blue random regular body pillow that is the one that helps me the most i think it's from walmart rather than my pregnancy pillow but that has been like my saving grace and it doesn't even really help like i'm telling you guys it's my saving grace but it literally does not even help i i don't know what to do i just i'm just gonna have to deal with it for the next three days and now i'm thinking to myself like oh and i'm gonna have a newborn so i just need to get used to not having sleep which reminds me if you guys have any like coffee like your favorite caffeine your favorite coffee please comment below and let me know so i can like try out different things because i'm not much of a coffee drinker i mean i am but i haven't really found anything that i really like absolutely love that i wake up in the morning and like oh i really love this you know I really love iced coffee so if you guys have any recipes comment below and let me know nothing fits me that's another thing nothing fits me anymore like i said i'm too stubborn i'm not gonna go out and buy extra large clothes for me right now and that's just not gonna happen so i've been chilling in onesies big t-shirts leggings that's just that's been the situation right now and i'm completely okay with that because i am in my element whenever i am in a onesie as you guys know that so yeah don't fit anything super restless super pregnant definitely more stretch marks i showed you guys my stretch marks in my last video and I feel like I've definitely gained a lot more. Getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. As most of you guys know, I am anemic. And so this whole pregnancy, I have told you guys that I've craved ice really bad. And here recently, I haven't craved it as bad as like I always have. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe my iron levels are getting better. I don't know, but that's something I've noticed. Also, Wilder has been a lot more clingy to me within these past few days like i will literally be going to the bathroom and he will come and want to sit on my lap on the toilet and it's just the sweetest thing and he's been rubbing my belly and patting my belly especially if i lift up my shirt he'll just come to me and pat my belly and it's just crazy i think he knows that something is about to happen garrick and i have definitely been you know telling him like hey you know there's there's gonna be a new baby your baby brother or sister and we'll pat my belly show him my belly for those of you wondering he's 15 months old so i don't think he understands fully but i definitely see how he's trying to grasp the concept of something is going on something's about to happen and it's just it's so crazy how kids know i was in walmart the other day and this little girl comes up to me little 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 girl and hugs my leg and she's like baby 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 girl and i was like oh my gosh that's so cute like kids are just so freaking cute i can't wait to find out if it's a boy or a girl like oh my god i cannot wait another thing that i've really noticed within this past week is my energy levels are literally shot like down the drain i don't want to do anything i just want to sit and do nothing like literally if i could i would just sit all freaking day you think i'd still be nesting but i'm not i just i don't want to do anything i just i've been so exhausted this last week i never really got swelling and stuff with wilder but i have noticed within this past week or two i have been swelling a little bit in my ankles you guys probably can't even tell oh i need my toes done don't look i just put that down i'm huge literally everywhere i go people are like oh my gosh you're so big i'm like i know i know people don't mean anything by it but i'm like i know i'm so big one thing that i am really looking forward to this time around is um we're having a scheduled c-section so it's going to be a lot different 
so I've been told from an emergency c-section like I had with Wilder so it'll be more controlled and I'll be more aware and I've just been told everything is going to be a lot different and so I'm just really looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to having bonding time with this new baby because with Wilder we didn't really get very much bonding time at all. We had no time to ourselves and I just I can't wait to establish breastfeeding and just to kind of focus on that because that's something that I'm really passionate about and I really want to get the hang of this time because with Wilder it didn't work out for us and I think it was because it was all so crazy like the labor and delivery was so crazy and I didn't have a very great lactation consultant and I didn't know what I was doing and I had so many visitors and there was just so much going on that I didn't get to focus primarily on breastfeeding which is what I really wanted so this time I'm just very excited to be able to just focus on that and have bonding time and just I can't wait for Wilder to meet his baby brother or sister I'm so anxious for how he's going to react I'm just, I'm so excited for that. I can't wait to share this journey with all of you guys. I need to stop or I'm going to start crying. Okay, moving on. I haven't had any like amniotic fluid leakage or anything, but whenever this first started, I literally thought that I did because it was that ridiculous. And I know that it can be weird for somebody, but I'm trying to be as authentic as possible with you guys and show you and tell you what really goes on during pregnancy. And this is just one of those things, but I've had a lot of discharge within this last week and I literally thought that it was my water leaking at first and then whenever I went to the doctor I talked to them about it and they're like no like it's okay it's completely normal for this to happen especially this far along so yeah that's happened and that's been a little weird because I don't remember that happening with Wilder then again I don't really remember too much that happened with Wilder I journaled a little bit journaled is that even a thing I wrote down in a journal and in my notes a lot whenever I was pregnant with Wilder, but still there's those little things that you don't remember. And that's why I'm so glad that I do these pregnancy updates and I vlog so I can go back and remember all of this. If any of you guys are like on the fence about starting a YouTube or starting a blog or starting anything like this, I strongly encourage you to do so because there are so many things with Wilder that I think back to and I'm like, did this happen? Did that happen? How did it happen? How did, you know, this happen or that happen or whatever? And I feel like I would have known and I, I would have remembered if I would have been doing this a lot earlier. So I definitely encourage anyone who is interested in doing it to just follow your dreams and just do it. Like, that's it. That's the all the advice I have to give you is you have to just do it and be passionate about it i've gotten a lot of questions about like how to start a youtube and all that kind of stuff and you just you have to do it you have to do it for all the right reasons and i'm getting into a rant but yeah guys pregnancy is almost over for me i am so like giddy and i have butterflies in my stomach right now as i'm thinking about it not tomorrow not the next day but the next day I will be having a baby not only a baby but a major surgery which I'm also really nervous for but um yeah there's just a lot of different emotions and I'm so excited and I'm so grateful that I'm able to share all of this with you guys all for my 39 week pregnancy update my last pregnancy update you guys I can't believe it my last pregnancy update for this pregnancy I don't know if we'll have more babies I don't know what the future holds for us so I'm trying to savor these last few days because it could be my last pregnancy it could not be you never know but yeah guys thank you so much for following along our journey like always i can say that a million times i just wish i could hug every single one of you and thank you guys so much for supporting me i would be doing this if i had no subscribers but the fact that i have people watching me and you know people that i'm talking to right now and people that are relating to me and just this whole community i'm so so grateful for and 
I just, I love you guys so much. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. Click that little notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Our next videos are going to be so exciting. So definitely turn on your post notifications so you don't miss anything. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for being a part of our family. We love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow.